What's up guys? Welcome back to Mark Strong Edits. Today we're going to take a look at creating this simple text animation as well as this 3D volumetric lighting. Let's check it out. Alright, I'm going to start by selecting my text layer and we're going to hit the drop down button and I'm going to choose this animate window and we're going to choose position. So I'm just going to move a little forward in the timeline here and I'm going to hit the stopwatch to drop a keyframe and I'm going to drag my text all the way out. I'm just going to move this back a little bit to speed it up. Maybe just a little bit more. Perfect. And to give our animation a little bit more of a bounce, I'm going to drag it a little ahead of where it's going to settle in its final keyframe. So it sort of bounces back into position. And I'm going to hit the animate button again, and this time we're going to choose skew. I'm going to enable the keyframes, and this kind of gives our text a little bit of a slant. So I'm going to pretty much have it slanted up until it hits the uh, kind of an invisible wall. I'm going to have it slant back the other direction. And I'm going to set it to zero. Now it'll settle back to normal. That's good. I think I'm just going to drag these keyframes forward a little bit to kind of match up a little bit better with when it hits this invisible wall. We'll grab those and just drag them down a little bit more. Perfect. All right, so now we're ready to animate our other text layer. So with that selected, I'm going to choose the drop down and we're going to hit our animate button. And I'm going to start with opacity. So we'll enable our keyframes. And I'm going to start it off at zero so we just get a nice fade in. All right, so now we're going to hit the animate button. We'll select the stopwatch. I'm going to drag our keyframe over just a little bit because this is where our animation ends for this text layer. And we're going to move the position upward so it sort of drops down and fades in. Perfect. And now we're ready to animate our shape layer. So with that selected, we'll hit the add button and we're going to choose trim paths. So I'm going to solo this layer and I'm going to adjust our start point as well as our end point so that they match up perfectly to where they're not visible at all. And we'll animate keyframes. I'll unsolo this layer. And we're going to drag these keyframes just a little earlier in the timeline. And we move forward a little bit. So our starting point, I'm going to have go all the way out as well as our end point. And we'll move a little bit further. We're going to bring our start point in just a little bit. And we're going to do the same with our ending point. And we'll move out just a little bit more. Maybe one more frame. And now we're going to extend them out all the way. And so just like with our text, it kind of gives it a more bouncy look. All right, to add our volumetric lighting, I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. And in our effects panel at the top, we're going to choose RG trap code and we're going to choose shine. We're going to change the source point type to 3D light. And I'm going to right click, hit new. We're going to create a new light. It'll be a point light. And we're going to call this shine control. And this is what's going to control our shine. So now that we've added that, the 3D light is what tells the shine what direction it's, it's moving. So this is going to make it very easy to animate.
Now going back to our adjustment layer, I'm going to choose Fractal Noise, and we'll enable that. It's going to give us a smoky look. I'm going to hit 3D Light with Parallax, and just like our light controls, we're going to hit New Light, and we're going to call this Noise Control. This is going to control that the smoke that is kind of uh, settling in the light. And so since we've already told it that the smoke controls it, all I have to do is move this light around, and we can see that that smoke is moving as well. I'm going to just make an adjustment by using the noise mask, and we're just going to lower the radius just a little bit. That way we don't have too much smoke. And then I'll lower the fractal detail as well, just kind of smoothing it out a little bit. So to animate the light, I'm going to select the shine control layer, and we're going to hit P for position, and I'm just going to drag this, we'll kind of have it animate from left to right. Perfect. Alright, and that about wraps up this tutorial. Thanks for checking out this video guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any tutorials you would like to see from me specifically, let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.